my review and opinion on Amazon's cheapest in-wall and in-ceiling speaker. It's made by Pile, it's a five and a quarter inch speaker. You can mount it in the wall or in the ceiling. It comes with a round and a square speaker grill. Now these are extremely cheap. Uh, I've been listening to it with music and watching movies and surround sound uh, for about a month. So I can give you guys a pretty good review. So by the end of the video, you'll know what to expect if you buy these speakers. I want to bring the camera in up close, show you all the details on the box, and then we'll go check the speakers out. Now here on the back of the box, you can see all the specifications. The 5 and a quarter inch speakers, 150 watts. Uh, the polymer tweeter, you see the frequency response, and they are 8 ohms. Uh, I would be much happier if they were 4 ohms, but they are 8 ohms. Sensitivity is at 88. And you can see the length, width, cutout diameter, and the mounting depth is only 3 inches because they're made to go in a 2x4 wall. And here's an up-close shot of the front of the speaker. And as we turn it around here to the back, you can see it has all these wall anchors. It is very secure into the wall. You got your speaker inputs right there. And they also come with a round and square grill. So there's the round grill and there's the square grill. The front left channel. Like I said, I used one for the center channel and it works okay. It's definitely not the greatest center channel speaker I've ever used. Then there's the front right. The rear right speaker. And there's a Polk Audio PSW10 sub. And if you come up the wall right there, that is the rear left speaker. And the speaker grill off so you guys can monitor the speaker. I'm going to play a couple songs so you guys can check out uh, this woofer movement. And comment down below if you know what songs they are. Finally, listening to movies and surround sound is not too bad. Using one of those as a center channel, it does work, uh, but it's definitely not great. I'll probably be upgrading that in the future. But for cost of these speakers, darn things work. I have listened to music and movies pretty darn loud, expecting maybe one of them might blow up. Uh, but they all still work. They all still work great. I'll put a link in the description below on how to buy these off Amazon. Hope you guys found this review helpful and informational, and thanks for watching.